for Cinco de Mayo with Kelly and... A piñata! Did I get it? Next line, Nathan Fillion from Castle and Ben Mulroney. Today at 9 on 6ABC. It's live with Kelly. Today from the hit show Castle, actor Nathan Fillion and Justin... We got a big show when we return with Nathan Fillion. Don't go away. Still ahead on live, Chopped Judge and Chef Aaron Sanchez will show us how you can celebrate Cinco de Mayo with our ultimate taco bar. Kelly and Ben go head-to-head -head with our world champion sports stacker. And coming up next, Castle star Nathan Fillion. a best-selling mystery writer and a crime fighter in the hit ABC series, Castle. Please welcome the very talented Nathan Fillion. This is so... What do you yes, think? I love what you've done with the place. <laughs> Thank you very much. We really? worked very really? hard around did, here. Did you were... hear that when you said his name? Somebody oh, over here... Oh, no, a lady fainted. Yes. Are you okay, ma'am? Yes, they're fine. This is... Ma'am, the... ma'am, please put your shirt back on. <laughs> I find that people who gasp at hearing my name have excellent taste. Yeah, they do. Eddie. Now, you, you two are both Canadians. That's right. Yet you don't know each other, and I thought that was impossible. I thought all Canadians knew each other. That's a rumor in America. Well, I know of Ben. And oh. I know of you. See, the rule is they don't let us leave the country until we are made aware and know of everybody working in entertainment that it happens to be Canadian. Oh, yeah. my gosh. So I know, every, I know of everyone who is Canadian who works in entertainment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. That's... And you the same. Such That's how you got your work permit. <laughs> like Brian Adams, right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're from Edmonton, right? Yes, born and raised. And have you ever been to Banff? Because that's the last time we saw each other was in Banff. I have been to Banff. I've skied in Banff. Mm. I've gone through in the summertime when the elk are all over the roads and you're trying to get through to your houseboat trip in Sycamus. Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. It's so gorgeous there. I really, I have to say, I was most impressed with yeah. the natural beauty of it. Did that you place. try the skiing? Did you ski? Yes. I, yes. Did you snowboard? No. No. <laughs> Did you ski bike? Ski no, but I've seen that. And I haven't. What is oh, this? Okay, so check this out. So you're skiing and it's it's cold, it's winter, right? And you you get on your skis or your or your snowboard right. and you work your thighs and your legs right. and you ski all the way down. You get to the bottom, you're hot and sweaty. You get on a chairlift and you sit there in the cold, right? Hot and sweaty, right? Until you get to the top and you're, you're freezing, freezing again. Right. Uh -huh. The ski, ski bike, bike. Yeah. You get to the top, you sit down on it. <laughs> mm. And you ride down. Yeah. It's like that movie, Two Dollars. I want I, my well, Two Dollars. I said that the whole time <laughs> yes. I was there. You know, the kid on the bike yeah, yeah. and he skis down uh, and up. Better Off Dead. Better Off Dead, uh, young, yes. Uh, John Cusack. John Cusack mm. film. Yes, That's nice right. Yeah, the first time I saw that, I was like, Two Dollars. Very nice reference. Yeah, we were doing, we were doing that and also kind of reeked of a, of a James Bond villain's uh, yes. experience. Mm. Exactly. Mm. Yes. Well, we were in Canada. Uh, we, every day we learned a new uh, Canadian mm -hmm. word of the day. Yes. All right. And um, I, I learned the word for hat, which was uh, two. Two. And then um, ginch, which is underpants. Yes. Yeah. Um, where, and I, where I come from, ginch is for girls. Oh. Gaunch was for boys. Gaunch is for boys. Oh, so that, that was a regional uh, oh. expression, yeah. I'm yes. guessing. Oh, my sort God. Of southern Edmonton. Yes, yes. Right. <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah, that's I a, didn't realize your underpants had very, genders. We're a very complex people. No, I understand. Many, many layers. No, mm -hmm. I know, I know. Um, so do you have a word that you can stump Ben with? Because I know <clears> that <throat> Ben was like the know-it-all with the words. There's, I got Ogopogo. You got Ogopogo? I got Ogopogo. Yeah. I got one that's it's kind of like Ogopogo. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Windigo. Windigo. No, I, you know, I don't even have to try. I have no idea what it is. Can we, can we just tell people what Ogopogo is? Because I forgot. It's, it's, the, it's the mythical creature that lives in the lake, much like the Loch Ness. Yes, it's ah, a yes. Loch Ness. Right. Canadian Loch Ness monster. Mm -hmm. And so what is Windigo? I don't know. A Windigo is a uh, cannibalistic spirit that uh, can take human form or possess humans. Uh, uh, it's, it's an Algonquin mythical really? creature. Really? Yes. Wow. A northern kind of demonic it's like a, it's Sasquatch like of... Like Zombie it, Sasquatch. I've never heard of that. Can, can I? Can I? Can I try to stump you? Please. Although I suspect you'll know it because you're from Edmonton. Let's, let's hear. What is a Chinook? <laughs> a Chinook refers to the warm winds that blow in the winter time. Okay. You are correct, sir. Thank you.
For those of you keeping score at home, it's a tie. <laughs> um, we have to take a commercial break. We're going to um, uh, talk to Nathan, and we're going to reveal your favorite uh, episode of Castle okay. when we return. <laughs> Still ahead online, you won't want to miss the ultimate Cinco de Mayo taco bar and see what happens when Kelly and Ben go cup for cup against an 11 year old world champion sports stacker. <laughs> We're back with Nathan Fillion, star of Castle. Um, by the way, the girls love you. Don't know if you're right. <laughs> A lady in the front row knows exactly where to get good poutine in Brooklyn. Booyah, where? Park Slope. Park Slope? Yeah. She said she will take you there. If, if, if you don't know what uh, poutine is, it's heart attack in a bowl. It's French mm, fries. So good. This wonderful kind of a, a mozzarella, kind of a mild mozzarella cheese curd, and then gravy. Mm. Mm. Thick, thick gravy. Uh, Dream about it. You can it. feel your arteries hardening as mm. you eat it. So, Castle is so hot. It's so, it's such a great show. What's hey. your favorite episode been so far? Okay, I have a, I, and I hate to do this, but I have a tie with my, my favorite episodes. Oh. I kind of got a tie mm. going right now. Okay. Uh, one is, uh, we just had the 10th anniversary of a sci-fi show I did called Firefly. Yes, uh, Firefly, of course. What a following that has. What's what, that? What yeah, people still like it, right? Jeez, it's my ten gosh. years. I still yeah. watch it. I yeah. love it. Uh, so Adam Baldwin, who played Jane on Firefly, he came to do a part, uh, and we kind of basically switched our roles from Firefly to Castle. We, he, he became the boss guy. Yeah. And, right. And he kicked me around a lot. We had a great time. We had eight days of working together, and it's been a long time since we worked together. Yeah, so that's, sure. That's got a place in my heart. Uh -huh. But we also had an episode where me and the boys on the show, Ryan and Esposito, go to Atlantic City. Right. And we had to dress <laughs> as Elvis impersonators right. to sneak in. Into a casino. Nice. Nice. It happens. Yeah, you could pull that off. Yeah, we went to the Morongo Casino up, up right outside of LA, and uh, I gotta tell you, walking through a casino dressed like Elvis Presley does something to a man. Yeah, mm. right, sure. Something sure. really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you loved it. I loved every minute of it. So that wasn't. Atlantic City, that was no. in L.A. Yeah, that was L.A. It's the magic of Outside television, Kelly. I swear, I, yeah. next thing you're going to tell me is that none of this backdrop is real. No. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you that. Thank no. you, Shelley. No, um, anyway, we've got a clip. Let's take a look here. Castle and uh, Detective Beckett discuss Captain Montgomery's death. All right. All right. Castle. Say something reassuring. There are thousands of break-ins in New York City every year. This one feels different. Well, that doesn't mean that it is. Montgomery worked hundreds of cases. Just because this guy was after files doesn't mean he was after your mom's case. Then why is our thief dead? You know, those people that Montgomery was involved with, he said that they wanted me dead, that I was getting too close, and he said that he was going to give his life in order to protect mine, and they still tried to kill me. I wake up sometimes and I think to myself, how the hell am I still alive? It's like I'm just waiting for that other shoe to drop. What if this is that other shoe? I hope she got it. <laughs> hey, it's Castle and Airs Monday nights at 10 p.m. on ABC. Nathan, it's always so great to see you. Yeah, you, so. right. you should stick around. Because we're going to make the ultimate Cinco de Mayo taco bar when we return. Don't go away.